Welcome to this instructional video on how to measure mainsails. First, for any sail, you need the following conditions and space to perform this measurement. The sail must be completely dry on a flat surface. It should have just enough tension to remove any wrinkles across the lines of measurements being taken. The space should be at normal room temperature and humidity, and battens should be removed. And when measuring, do not include any permanent attached devices such as clips, cars, or loops along the edge of a sail, such as the luff, or any permanently attached extensions or straps or other items at the corners, such as loops that may be at the head or the tack of the mainsail. The constituent edges of any sail include the luff, the leech, and the foot. The corners include the clue, the tack, the head point, and aft head point. When the corners are squared off or rounded, the actual measurement point is the intersection of the extended edges. For the main sail, the measurement point for the head of the sail is the intersection of the luff, extended as necessary, and the line through the highest point of the sail at 90 degrees to the luff. The lengths of the girths determine the area of the sail and are measured at positions that are at 7 eighths, 3 quarters, 1 half, and 1 quarter of the luff's length. Determining the location of these measurement points is done by folding the sail along the leech, then marking the fold point with a permanent marker. The half leech point shall be equidistant from the head point and the clue. Make a mark on both sides of the leech at this half width point, or MHW. Then bring the head point to this fold and rotate the sail so the leech is on top. This is where the top width, the MTW, is then marked on the leech on the top, and the quarter width point, or the MQW, is marked on the leech on the bottom. Then one more fold of the head point to the MTW determines where to mark the upper width, or MUW. Note that with more roach on the sail, the measurement points will be higher on the leech. With a very large square top mainsail, the 7 eighths point for the MUW may even be on the headboard at the top width. In this case, the aft head point shall be taken as the 7 eighths point to measure MUW. The next step is to measure the shortest distance from each measurement point to the luff. The most common and accurate tool for this is a steel or steel cord reel tape. To find the shortest distance for each measure, the tape should be swung through an arc, keeping the zero at the measurement points and searching for the lowest value that can be found on the forward edge of the luff. Measurement points should be rounded up to the next largest centimeter. For example, a measurement of 3.411 meters should be recorded as 3.42 meters. Also note that the luff and foot are not measured, since P and E are measured and marked on the spars. Once sails are measured, the data should be recorded on a data sheet or a log, and also entered on the measurement stamp that should be placed at the head of the sail. Three, four, two. Three, four, two. Yeah.